Legislators are also considering a bill that would release nonviolent offenders from prison who are in for life. The only person with such a sentence is Jeff Mazansky. Last month, ABC 17's Joey Parker visited with Mazansky in prison to speak about him with his unique sentence. You'll remember he's in prison for life without parole for nonviolent marijuana convictions. This morning, Mazansky's case was the focus of a public hearing on House Bill 978 that would set him free after 21 years in prison. ABC 17's Ashley Strohmeyer was at the hearing and joins us live in our Jefferson City newsroom. And Ashley, quite a few people testified in favor of Mazansky's freedom. Daniel, several people testified in favor of the bill that could potentially release Jeff Mazansky from prison, and actually no one testified in opposition to that bill this morning. Several of Mazansky's family members testified, including his brother, who gave a very emotional testimony. The saddest and most hurt. Sorry. Sorry, you take your time. We're, we're fine. Her wrenching thing he had to do was travel from Chicago to Jefferson City Correctional Center to be with my mother, who was dying from cancer. So her and Jeff could say their final goodbyes. If the Missouri legislature passes House Bill 978, it would release Jeff Mazansky from prison. Bill sponsor Shamed Dogan says there are a few reasons he brought the bill forward. I presented this bill as a way for us to save taxpayers money to right and injustice. According to Representative Dogan, Mazansky's life sentence without the possibility of parole for three marijuana convictions is, quote, poor public policy and bad timing. He is treated, he was treated the same as a murderer. Representative Justin Hill worked for the DEA in St. Louis. I've charged people in federal court with a thousand pounds of marijuana and they got quite a lesser sentence of this. Representative Penny Hubbard says she's shocked Mazansky is in prison for life over nonviolent pot convictions. So I just want you to know that I will be supporting uh, your piece of legislation. The prosecutor in Pettis County at the time also says he feels Mazansky has served his time in prison. Live in the Jefferson City Newsroom, Ashley Strohmeyer, ABC 17 News. Thank you, Ashley. In his 21 years of being in prison, Mazansky has twice been written up, once for a messy cell floor, the other for dropping a piece of mail in the wrong place.